It is time for another Mad Science Monday. Two of my favorite guys are back, Dalton Jonathan and Atomic Allen from Mad Science. Welcome back, guys. Hi. Hello, Michaela. How are you? I'm great. Hey, you gave me props today, so I yeah. am very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to be talking about, and actually for this whole series of uh, Mad Science Mondays, we're going to be talking a little bit about air and density and things that float and don't float. Okay. So that, that thing that you have actually has a bunch of different uh, densities to it. I, I have an example here. Mine's a little bigger than yours. And what it has is, um, as you can see, there are actually five different densities in, in this bottle. On the bottom is uh, alcohol, is a, a salt water. And then this is a mix of salt water and alcohol. And then on top is alcohol. And some of the beads float on salt water, but not the mix. Some of the beads float on um, the mix. And so it all comes back together. And you have a little one that you can play with yourself. Give it a good shake for us. There yeah. you go. And, oh, two wow. beads okay. up, and then they'll come back together. Your white beads up on top, it's going to come down. The blue beads going to work its way up. And you'll have fun with that. Very so cool. The question is, what floats and what doesn't float? Well, that's actually kind of interesting because we talk a lot about how different things in our house. And for example, I have two cans. I have a can of really, really sugary soda that's really, really yummy and a can of seltzer water, which is basically just angry water. <laughs> now, they're the same size. They feel about the same. Will they both float? Will they both sink? What do you think is going to happen? Well, I think they're carbonated, so they'll probably both float. They're carbonated, so they'll probably both float. Uh, which would you like me to try first? Really, really sugar or not really, really sugar? Let's do really, really sugar. Really, really sugar. So we take the really, really sugar, we drop it in there, and it sinks like a rock to the bottom. Hmm. We take the angry water. The angry water. Will it float or will it sink? Well, now I'm confused. The angry water floats what but what's different even though they both have carbonation like you said the angry water it doesn't have any sugar sugar is way more dense huh. than just the water so that water that sugar actually causes that to be heavy enough that it gets weighted down to the bottom so jonathan what about a bowling ball i mean i've got a bowling ball here is a bowling ball going to sink or is it going to float? I'm going to be honest. I just want to know why you always bring that with you places. Well, you got to go. So it's, uh, what do you think, Michaela? Is a bowling ball going to sink or is it going to float? Well, it's going to sink, right? Of course it is because it's a bowling ball. And bowling balls sink. Well, some of them float. This is a six-pound bowling ball. It's for young youngins. Yeah. All bowling balls are filled with cork. That's how they adjust the weight. And so with this particular bowling ball, there's a lot of cork, so it floats really well. But even like a 10-pound bowling ball would float. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got a, a couple of experiments that you can try at home. Okay. Talk about things that float and sort of have fun with it. I'll get this out of the way so Jonathan can get to work there. All right. And I'm going to keep shaking this up. Keep shaking that up. So what we've got, we're actually going to come over and we're going to use our special little camera over here. So we've got this special little camera. And what I just have is I have right here is some, we'll set this one over here, some food coloring and water. Mm -hmm. Now I also have, we've got the food coloring in the bottom and with some water and there's also some oil on top. You can see the different layers. Yeah. What I'm going to take and add to this one is actually an Alka-Seltzer. We're going to pop it in, let it fizz up. Um, for kids who are watching this, Alka-Seltzer is a medicine that grown-ups used to use. It's really fizzy, like baking soda. But when we do that, it's going to drop into the bottom. It's going to start to dissolve. And when it starts to dissolve, if you look, we get those bubbles. Those bubbles grab that food coloring and bring it up through the, uh, the oil. There's different densities. That oil floats in the water. But when it gets to the top, wow. they pop. We're getting this amazing looking lava lamp yes. inside our oil there. Now, not everybody has Alka-Seltzer. We're really, really old. So we always have Alka-Seltzer. But you can do this at home 
with a slightly different version where we've got just a lot of food coloring and water mm -hmm. and just a little bit of that oil on top. And then we're just going to grab some sodium chloride, some plain old table salt. Doesn't have to be iodized, doesn't have to be sea salt. And we're just going to sprinkle that across the top. We're going to make a nice little filmy layer. Right. And if you look, it What's going to happen? It starts to pull that oil down. That oil gets pulled down. And as it gets pulled down, the salt will dissolve the oil. The salt makes the oil heavier. It gets pulled down. And then as the salt dissolves, we get those bubbles coming back up. Hey, I love this. And with easy things that we have at home. So if there are parents and kids watching, you can totally do this and have some fun with science. Guys, we thanks so much. Them. You're welcome. Thanks for having us, Michaela. Oh, our pleasure. And hey, more fun to come in the next Mad Science Monday.